<clears throat> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what I love about fire. Even after long games, he's so emotionally unstable that he has to take like five to ten minute breaks every time. And that's so refreshing as a caster. Like if the Viper plays uh, one and a half hour games, he will take a rest of 15 seconds and then I have to go at full speed again. And that's so much tougher, but fire, good guy fire, give me some breaks. And Rio is back as well. What are you what are your hopes for the next map here? <laughs> yeah, and if I agree with you, fire he he needs to take at least ten minutes after each game. I saw that on China. He was the one delay every match, but that's fire. Anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> we have here Bees of War. Uh I don't think Arena is the best map from Fire, but I'm not sure how good is Tato as well on Arena, so I, I have no opinion yet. Okay, I like the strategic mi mind of Tato, so I will absolutely expect him to play Arena on a, on a very reasonable level here, and we won't see, like, a scout flush. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I think Tato will... Play something very thoughtful, I would say. I, I don't want to say like fire won't put any thoughts into a strategy, but he will not go that much outside the box. I think he will go for maybe Monk Rush. Maybe I think that's the most reasonable option. Monk Rush. Yeah, actually for both players, obviously, since it's Bison teams, they have very strong monks of all. And yeah, but yeah. we know fire can surprise us with unit choices for sure. Maybe he goes for paladins. <laughs> we never know, right? We never know. <laughs> oh, that's an old uh, Katsuni catchphrase, right? Never know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for the guy uh, who lost Byzantine towards and missed the Arabia one, um. Unlikely that this game will go as long, but at least you get two for one. And yeah, let's take a look at maps. So, fire in the blue trunks here with reasonable walls. One relic inside his area. Had one ball outside, which is unfortunate. Nice defensive gold one. Nice defensive gold two. Nice defensive gold three. Having back deers here, not the greatest because he can't get them into is to see easily one defensive stone let's take a look tatito very open walls here offensive stone open gold but not reachable from the outside nice deer can easily be pushed into the tc and boars inside defensive stone number one defensive extra stone and defensive extra golds yeah this is good for tattoo Although, as you said, Fire has three goals in, the, in behind, mm -hmm. but uh, Tato has one extra goal in, uh, inside his walls and also uh, one really close from his walls. Yeah, look at this. So, I can even fit both on one screen. And let's take a look at the relics. We already saw one relic in the base of Fire, and we have one outside, two outside, and the rest, three and four. Pretty neutral ones. A bit better for Tato. But those two are absolutely up for grabs for both, and those two will get heavily contested if Fire tries to build like in this direction or something. So, yeah, let's do a summary. Who do you think has the better starting conditions here? Uh, I think Tato has the better start condition because uh, the left side on uh, the relics on the left side for him, uh, it's pretty. I think it's better for him. It's closer, right? And uh, he can. He doesn't have to push harder in the middle. I think because he knows if he already scouted, he knows he has two extra goals for him. He can play defensive and and try to win in the late game. That's my opinion. So it's a bit better for him, I guess. Okay, now it. it I think it might be a difficult question, but we have time for it. What do you think is the matchup mirror matchup? Where relics are least important. Uh, relics. I think when you have uh, 
when you have like four relics at least and and you can and you and you win some map control not not just taking the relics you know but winning maps control because you you might do some army to cast then and then uh holding up because if the enemy if the uh, the enemy doesn't try to take the relics maybe he will have better economy because he will try to boom or something like this but uh if you catch up the boom of the enemy you you'll be in a good mood you'll be in a good mood with mm -hmm. relics yeah that's true that's true okay then i will ask uh, the difficult question another time so now we have both going up with pop 25 two seconds difference and yeah very neck on neck game here most likely we'll see pretty reasonable uptimes no one going for the loom obviously since you're sitting behind stone walls so i'll go two on gold and it seems like both players are playing the exact same build order seven on wood two on gold rest on food four farms compared to three farms very small difference here but that's mainly because yeah Tito had easy access to his deers although i caught fire's deers bad he did a pretty great job there here getting two of his deers already close to his tc third one coming in as well and i wouldn't be surprised to see the first one getting close to the tc as well yeah very nice by him it was pretty far he managed somehow to get them yeah great job tato and fire post castle age now blacksmith coming up market coming up and the same for Tatoon fire and now we can see what players are going for and oh look at this Tato is adding farms what does that mean Riot. Uh, that's that's kind of weird i think he was afraid of not having too much food but no he has enough food and he's both doing um, market upgrades so no one is trying to go Barracks and then stable or archery. So we might see just monks or uh, a little boom. Let's see. I think it spells one extra to see with monks for Tito yeah. here. And fire by only having five farms means I think he will just go for. Oh, he only has four in gold as well. So he might build. One defensive, oh now he's standing one gold and wood only. So it seems like fire builds one defensive monastery, Tato builds two defensive monasteries and one extra TC. That's my prediction. Yeah, I, I think uh, you are right about fire. He would do one defensive, uh, defensive monastery and he will not fight that much for the relics. He would just try to do a good boom. And for Tato, I think you're right because he has six on gold, so he might do two monster, but I don't think it's necessary. Let's check. Check the resources. Okay, no resources just yet for the next TCs, but I think he will add like two monasteries instantly and then one TC following up pretty quickly. So again, fire going for the more eco-heavy approach here. And let's see, monastery number one, monastery number two. On the other side, we have monastery number one. And monastery number two. So both players going for two monasteries, but with a bit different star starts here. And I think Fire will not keep up with the, monas um, the monk production against Tito, with only four villagers on gold so far. Yeah, definitely. But he's already doing the second TC, and but I agree with you. He he he'll not uh, try too hard. Although he'd made two monasteries, which I don't think it was a right decision. Anyway, uh, I think he'll focus on booming now. And let's check how is it going to go this fight. <laughs> Okay, so first engagement of the game. It instant atonement here for Tato. Trying to go for the scout kill. Let's see. Both converts. A bit earlier started for fire, but that's not important. <gasps> fire gets out alive with both scouts. 
How did that yeah, happen? <laughs> that was a very good start for him. It and now you see that Tato is very afraid to... And he needs to run! Oh god! <laughs> let's see that one convert. And let's see the second convert is done as well. So Sunny needs now two scouts for Tato. It's still a better start for Fire who gets two guaranteed relics and has one in his base. So good start for our player from Brazil here. A very good friend of our co-caster. Tyrant Ryud. Yeah, very good start, I agree. Now he has three relics. Uh, the only problem for Fire, I think, is, is that Farmy. What what he's doing? Really, why that Farmy? Anyway. Uh, seems like work. leg day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um. Okay, so... Monks not coming in. Two gun, three relics. That's settled for now. 30C for fire. Close to be finished. And 30C now starting for Tattoo as well. Fire ahead by four villagers. How did that happen? Yeah, I think uh, it was because the, he, he got the second TC earlier. And... Pretty much it, maybe Tato was a bit idle for some time, but I, I, I could not see that. Header says Champions League 4 games and Champions League, you know, it's a tournament of champions and that's always a tournament. So uh, anyone who thinks those are only, I say only rated games, uh, is wrong. Uh, there's actually money on the line every game. Uh, Tato has a Tatoman. Let's see how the converts are going. I think that has to be deleted indeed. Fire realizes, oh god, I will never get them out alive. And instantly converted. Fire bought 500 stone. No, that's a bug in the overlay. Uh, my bad. He bought 300 stone. Maybe 200. And yeah, he's trying to go for the castle defense now. Where would be a good place for his castle? Uh, I think in. Protecting that stone should be okay because, uh, or maybe even close to the market because maybe it's a long wall over there if Tato pushes there. But he should be fine. He has three goals behind, and now he has three relics. Really good for fire so far. Yeah, and one stone behind as well. Fire buying 100 stone again. So. 120 stone away from actually building the castle. Let's see, the monks are camping like they wanted to keep up the aggression. Five villagers ahead is our player Tyrant Fire here. More monks coming up and let's see, reasonable farming here from Tato. Fire now building a mill here to kind of save this misplaced farm but actually it's only one tile fire now going for fletching explain please well he wants to to make sure that he won't be damaged by by any of uh, attack from monks and siege workshops so he'll do fletching for his castle so his castle will have one more range and he should be fine he, he he's gonna be up earlier I think and he can do HC, which is strong for Visa, and you have three relics, and I think that so might just waste uh, time and resource with that push. Mm, I think so as well. Still five villagers behind both the three TCs. Rams coming in now, even bot can error, so he absolutely wants to save. Um, yeah, those monasteries. But yeah, betting rams still could do something. Mangona will help out. And I think we might go into our third out of three one hour games. Because <laughs> I don't see it ha ending now. I don't see it ending early in pre age. And yeah, unless the toe is now going for the weirdest. Harbardier Bombard Cannon Imperial push against Fire. That won't end it. And yeah, Fire is on the way to Imperial Age as well. Both with similar populations. Interesting stuff. Yeah, Tato is still really low in, on stun, so he'll get 
Imperial pretty early, uh, pretty early in the game, but the thing is he won't have any trap and he has only two ramps, so it doesn't matter too much that imp time. Tell now sending in the beautiful scout here, splitting one and le uh, one left, one right would be a good option. Pikeman upgrade now for him, trying to see everything. And those scope miners obviously don't have looms, so an attack is absolutely an option. Going for one, the spearman is coming, but one villager will absolutely go down, and Tato can easily outrun the spearman. And let's see, even trying to go for a kill here, but needs to run now. 10 HP left on one villager, 20 on the other. Trying to run around a bit more, trying to be annoying. In the meanwhile, we have fire going for the Arbalest tech, and Tato staying on monks. So Tato will go for, I believe, Bombard, Cannons, Halberdier, Monk, and Fire will go for Arbalest, Lightcalf. I wanted to say Hassar, but I think it will be Lightcalf. Yeah, I agree with you. I also think that and the armor composition for Fire will be better. Because if Fire can hold the, the push, I mean, with maybe runs as well. I think he will add runs. Fire can hold that, then he should be good to to counter attack. Uh, I actually wanted to give the advantage to to Toe here, um, unless Abelas are doing major damage. I think Onager is an upgrade that Toe needs as well, but his eco isn't the greatest. Now going for block printing, chemistry, and geography, doing all the important Imperial Age upgrades to Toe. So, fire sold 100 food and bought 100 food. But that upgrade isn't always reliable. Mango nails more and capped rams. And another castle here for fire. Not 100% sure if I like this one. Oh, it's not really yeah. controlling an area. Where... Hmm. I don't like it as well. I think a bit in the left, close to the market or university, would be better, I think. Ah, oh, behind here, yeah. Capturam now closing the distance against the Mangonel, but the Mangonel should run home if there were, if it wasn't for the Arbalest blocking the way. Bombard Cannon's now coming in, and Tito did a great hold with Bombard Cannon's the game before. Let's see how he's doing there. It's not really an option for Fire to go for Cataphract because in low numbers they won't perform great against the Monks. Lightcap won't perform that great against Pikeman. Mm, I'm interested how this will go. Still no upgrades on any Pikeman here for Tato. Tato now going for Onagers to counter out Arbalest. Tato has a very nice composition if you ask me. Yeah. Those Bomber Skinners can be very dangerous. Let's see if he can micro good. But... I think actually the, the micro here that it has to be good is from fire because now we see that Tato is upgrading the Onager as well. So let's, let's take a look on that. First, um, Mangonel down, second one doing some damage, some converts coming in as well. And oh god, those converts are effective. Now only four Arbalests left. Down to two and now skirmishes at the side. Skirmishes obviously a unit where Tito doesn't have much except his onages, but his onage account is at one at the moment. Lost a lot of bombard cannons and that was one of the better engagements here for Tito. Let's see how the micro will continue from now on. I believe we will see action only. Onagers, bombard cannons, let's see. Mangonel is converted. Getting some damage against the skirmishes here and Let's see, now this Bombard Cannon as well. And, oh, that's an aggressive castle by fire. Yeah, very, very often. Not sure if it's a good uh, option. Why is he engaging with the skirms now? Three Catas coming in, but that's enough monks to convert those cataphracts. What is he doing? And all three <laughs> converted. This was Give just... Away. Yeah. <laughs> Here, I, I built cataphracts for you, take them! <laughs> and I built a castle for you, kill it! 650 stone and a bit more because I'm trying to repair it. 
<laughs> yeah. But, yeah, he's staying strong at the moment, and Tito doesn't have a lot of army as well. He has at 18 military, it's strong military, yes, I agree, but it's not, not the biggest number so far. Now convert again against the Bombard Cannon, getting one Arbalest, some s uh, small group of Arbalest coming around here, trying to micro against the monks, but oh, the converts are so real here. <laughs> On it just now, on um, their mission as well, and finally Tito uh, switching to real units as well, going for fledging, going for skirmishes, going for the defense upgrade, let's see, on it just shot against oh. all the skirmishes, that's the end of those skirmishes, and suddenly it's 6 military for fire, he's try still trying to repair his castle like a madman, oh this cataphract wants to get through, but yeah, it's getting deleted again. Tato is just continuing to dry or like yeah dry out fire when it comes to stone he's still repairing and repairing should be he still has lots of stone I'm super surprised at how many stone tiles he still has very low eco for both only 90 villagers all that kind of reasonable Tato going for botkin arrow as well now actually botkin arrow yeah, and finished now. He has chemistry. And let me see. Where is the switch of fire for stables? There it is. Okay. So, light cap plus one plus one. And yeah, that's good for him. at the moment, there's not a single pikeman on the map for Tito. Let's see if he maybe can see the switch of light cap coming up. And now, eight light cap are coming. Let's see how good the converts of Tito are. Uh, Tito can see all the monks and where they are positioned. One on it shot obviously misses. Now the monks are trying to micro back, not going for the converts themselves. Only plus one defense, so skirms can actually do a reasonable amount of damage against them. One light cap, two light cap converted, only two more living. So that was one bomber cannon going down, and I think like one monk. Ah, not su most successful engagement again for fire. Why is in the mood to, to go like, oh, in, he already bought like 500 stone and now he, he bought even food. So, <laughs> if he can, can't connect to this, won't be good. Skirmish is overextending here. Indeed, fire is absolutely in a pushing mood. Same villager amount, and suddenly Tato is ahead by 20 military. Kill statistics pretty even. Tato now switch, uh, fire now switching back onto stone, going for siege workshops. Tato selling stone, knowing, yeah, I can actually work without a castle. Conscription probably would be the only thing he could really make use of. Oh, my cannon micro now. Oh, that's too close to the castle. And going down. Being instantly punished. Let's take a look if Tato actually sees his extra gold and stone. Yeah, he does. And getting the extra stone gold spot at the side as well. So, it's looking reasonably good for Tato when it comes to extra resources. Fire still has, yeah, lots of gold. Lots of gold he can get. And Tato is saving most of his gold, but he's getting all his relics, uh, resources on the map. Look at that. Highest resources, 500. And yeah, pretty much the same for fire, so they're playing to the maximum here. Yeah, pretty close now. You see that Tato has 30 more pop population, 7 more villagers. Also, he's, if you check, he's doing more farms and putting some control on his economy, so he'll get really strong economy really soon. This is dangerous for fire, he needs to do damage. <laughs> okay, the army of Tato at the moment is still weak. Now going for some more hand cannoneers. Monks are nice and oh, finally Tato did opt to go for one castle. Going for conscription and yeah, just abusing the range of the traps now. Let's see, bombard cannon so good at sniping traps. One down and yeah. Just uh, one trade, one trap against one bombard cannon. But it's six now finally coming up for fire. 
And he's going for the plus four defense upgrade. So Cavaliers finally will, yeah, take some more arrows before dying. And Tato now going for Harbadier Switch as well, knowing, okay, my army is pretty vulnerable to a Hasa Switch. And, ooh, that's a nice amount of ramps prepared here by Tato. Yeah, that's really a lot. But he's missing the last, the Ziggy ram with a great right? Uh, doesn't have the resources to do it. Yeah. What are Tito's monks actually converting at the moment? I don't see any converts going on. Did fire research herasery? Uh, Miguel said that, he, yeah, he did. Ah, okay, okay. Makes sense. 1000 gold, yeah. Okay, then let's see. Monk's now trying to again go for some more converts, but that's not an option anymore. More ramps, but I think more traps would be the option for Tato or maybe. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Bombard Cannons because they're so mobile, they can out micro traps. You can. Obviously, you're doing less damage, but. It's so much easier to decide where you want to do the damage. Yeah, bomber cannons are, are really strong, especially against uh, units as well. So you can micro them in skirmishers. Oh, yeah. In skirmishers, indeed, indeed. Yeah, yeah. in monks. So very good, indeed. Shato now taking the sides as well. Nice move. Fire going for sea tram upgrade. This castle again under threat. But 5k HP, 3 villagers repairing. But fire is out of stone. At least to, to mine. Some light cap now killing that onager. Oh, and look at this. The toad didn't even use his main stone spot at the moment. So there's so much gold to mine. Isn't going for fully mine it. And the toad will have so much more gold banked up than fire in the long run. Yeah, and Tato is just winning some time here. It feels like fire is going for the push. Yes, 60 military. Now he's having sea tram upgrade as well. Going for the light cav and lots of skirmishes. Tato has 70 army as well. But this push might be strong. Let's see how the cavalry are, are engaging. Monks are trying to convert, but convert is not an option anymore. Since they did these like kamikaze. Upgrade now Rams come in to defend not a lot of harbors in this area So the scouts are actually closing the distance nice amount of converts though now camels coming up for Tito's defense And suddenly it's only some Rams and mainly skirmishes more light cap coming in again Hussars is missing and Yeah, hand cannoneers untouched camels helping out seems like some barracks are going down, but uh, Was it worth it for fire here? Yeah, I'm not sure either. Seems like that will be able to hold that, and if it holds that, it's over. Because he has the map, he has he has extra reserves, so that's the only chance for fire, I think. Okay, so harsh of a judgment. It is still 3 to 2 relics. Let's see, Onager needs to retreat. Nice bit micro there by fire. Light kept going down and even some making it back. So that's good for him. The side attack will start from Tito pretty soon. Fire expanding a bit, not optimizing his wood income. Interesting farm bug over here. More ramps pushing in. Finally, sea tram upgrade for Tito. Husbandry now for fire. And more and more skirmishes. Fire is going for the full. Trash army like you're supposed to do if you're Byzantines out of gold in late Imperial Age. What else can you do? Camels now great against the light cavalry. And yeah, it feels like there's not a single hand cannon you're going down this game. Yeah. You now you can see Tato is pushing on left side. It's really good for him. Let's see if I will be able to stop that. Okay, 
Okay, finally the attack is coming here to converted scouts running in. Mohabadi attack, let's go into the point of view of fire. When is he reacting to this? At the moment he isn't. He's trying to micro at the front. Tito kind of here and there's still no reaction at all by fire. Getting so many attack signs at the front. Sometimes you're not getting the attack at the side when you're in full fighting mode. Let's see, Skirmish is dying now. Yeah, go ahead. He didn't notice yet. Oh, now he does. Just now. Oh, now okay. he does. <laughs> uh, that idled so many villager. Um, having 30 idle now. The TC might still go down. And let me see. Yeah, finally he... Uh, by now he has loom. Uh, more skirmishes fighting in the middle, but that's not the most important fight. Both players pretty low with pop 160. Yes, uh, Fark could, could do a, a really good push in the middle. I saw Tato is in uh, full pop, but now also you can check that Fark has just 94 villagers and a lot of idols, so it's getting dangerous for him now. Ah, uh, but 35 more pop. Tito running out of production facilities here. And some light cap even closing on the distance against the skirmishes, but one halberdier can clear them up. More ramps, and at the moment Tito doesn't really have a counter to ramps. Not really having any answer. Not sending him some camels, but camels aren't the great thing against. Oh, yeah, definitely ramps. not. He, he has to do an Azure, I think, an Azure. And try to make bridges easy behind Ooh, and what did the other army again. What could do something? Uh, <laughs> getting some damage done before dying. And yeah, suddenly it is fire not having 50 working villagers. So many idols. The raid in the back is real. Raid at the side is real. So many TC is running, um, going down. Lots of villagers working. So at the moment it feels like there aren't even like 30 villagers actually gaining resources for him. Ah, if Tato now uh, continues his aggression, I think he can really pin fire down here. Yeah, definitely. And fire sent like 40 skirmishers to stop that. And his push is over now, so it's looking bad as you see that Tato is, is on the top of this car now. So. Otto is leading the game right now. And now he's the one pushing back with the Rams. Maybe some of the trucks at the front would help out. Still not taking this go uh, stone spot. Out of gold everywhere now, except here we have a solid 700 gold left. Now even going for more camels. Not really sure if that's the best option here. Probably would love to see more Rams in general. And oh god, fire is struggling now. 70 volts only. All of them working at the moment, so that's good for him. 70 military, but oh, the military count won't increase that much. Only at 200 food at the moment. Let's take a quick look at villager production. Not even that is running properly for him. Now he queued up some. But oh god, is there really an answer to the ramps? I don't see it at the moment. Guilds for Tattoo, and look at this food price stone, 70 food still, uh, 70 gold per food. Oh, that's a lot. And with guides, ooh, it's gonna worth a lot to sell it. 70, isn't that the starting price? No one ever sold food. Yeah, <laughs> that's really Now it's guilds, weird, yeah. 85. 85 gold per 100 food. And yeah, with that amount of farms, you, you can transition that into a lot of gold now. And the push is coming in. Top 140 here for fire. And that's mainly skirms who aren't the correct answer to ram camel. Camels obviously are dying pretty easily against castles. And finally, this castle is going down. The tr monastery is now getting more and more exposed. The ram aiming to kill the bombard can. This looks like Tato might finish this out. Going yes. a bit deeper. Cannon clearing this trap. More rams coming in. Pop 140 and not getting higher for fire here. Side attack on the left hand side. Not that big. Production actually going more to the middle. Not the best waypoints. But the ram again opening the side. Not going down instantly against the bombard cannon. 
That fire somehow is staying in this game. I think it's only a matter of time till this is cleared up and fire Tito is now switching into unit, which can do exactly that. Is going into light calf. Ah, give me the predictions for or the advice for fire to hold on and maybe have a chance to still win this game. Uh. It's really hard, I think, because he doesn't have any gold anymore. All of his gold is from relics, and his economy is really poor because he has just 74 villagers. And now, uh, with Tato doing uh, Light Cavalry, maybe Hussar, and Fire doesn't have any upgrade, I think, for Spears, for Halberdiers, anything like that. So, I don't know, in my opinion, it's really over already. Okay. Yeah, it seems a bit like that. Hasar up right now as well. The other side is so many more rams, skirmishers being yeah, kind of protected by the siege rams. Harbour is now as well against the light cap. I was so surprised that again fire is playing it without the Hasar upgrade. And I'm not surprised that I predicted at like minute 25 that it will be in game over one hour and now we are reaching the 63rd minute of the game. But it feels like it's only a question of time till we have to see fire tapping out here. in this game still this stone spot not being used by Toto. he is playing as gray not really sure if he's playing with friend or four colors uh, i think if those two castles die that's basically the end for fire does he have any chances to build up an army to kill this more rams coming in but some rams of fire there as well to clear it up passers all the upgrades on all the units now except the hustle upgrade for fire Still only 78 villagers. Let's take a look and still not producing. Oops, that, that's a toe. And still not producing here for fire. And yeah, he absolutely needs to catch up in that regard. So that's not the greatest macro at the moment. Yeah, and, and fire, if he wants to try something, he needs to fix his economy, do more villagers, try to do stables behind and, and try to spam some, I mean, more like cavalier since he doesn't have. Hussar upgrade, so. But he's not doing that, so it's pretty hard, in my opinion. Come back. Ooh, that ram actually get the onager. Yeah. 3 HP. Nice mission. And yeah, I couldn't agree more. You need to fall back. I want to see like 20 farms being built here. Look at this. He only has two spearmen. This is all idle. The macro is just so slipping here. And I think now all the skirms will go down. I think we will see GGG any second. There's so many rams of Tato clearing this area up. All the skirms will go down. T Fire has to know that Tato will be on pop 200 and will not stop off attacking here. He is now losing all his skirmishes. Light Cav is his only option. And indeed, Fire sees it's GG and taps yeah. out. Boah! We didn't have any interruptions, we didn't have any drops, and it's now three hours and we only played three games of AOC. What a great battle they're giving them uh, yeah, each other here. It's so neck on neck every damn game. Uh, Tito's ego was just so much better. Relics better for fire. Timeline. And that was game number three. Let's do a quick check. The score is 2 1. And what does that mean when it comes to the scoreboard? So now we have Tito with six wins, fire with three wins. So our two scenarios are those two. Tito 3 1, that means. Fire needs to win 4-0 against the Viper. That's unlikely. And if it's 2-2, Fire needs to at least 2-2 versus the Viper to get to the finals. That's an option. But at the moment, it very heavily feels like it will be Tito against Fire in the uh, Tito against Viper in the finals here. 
But yeah, we will play you some more songs of our people. And then we'll be back with game number four. It will be Islands. The Islands champions against, I think it's place number two of the last Islands tournament. I think so. Enjoy. Yeah. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. Okay, guys. It's time for the final map, number four. It's the repeat of Island's finals. It's fire against Tito. It is the wrong overlay. It is nearly, and it is with me, the great Tyrant Riot. Hello. <laughs> Okay, so Fire being considered one of the strongest island players in the world, maybe the strongest. Thoughts? Yeah, I think uh, Fire is such a beast in water, right? And he he won the the last islands tournament. He showed the the world that. He's very strong on, uh, on water. And what makes him not so good? Rooster. What makes I him think, so good? I think uh, he, his micro on Feldo Age is one of the of the the reasons why he's he's a beast. Also, I think he sometimes you it, it take a while, but when you understand pretty good how to control your economy by doing uh, 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 some strategy and uh, about water the strategy is going is going uh, water is going uh, uh, galleys you know so when you when you understand how to control your economy by doing some strategy you become good in that strategy and fire knows how to control almost perfectly the economy in maps with water so the, those two points, uh, the, uh, uh, the nice micro and also the good economic control, it makes him so strong in this map. Okay, yeah, sweet stuff. But let's not count on Tito. Tito was in the finals of the island tournament as well. And he lost the finals 4-3 to fire. So it seems like it could have gone either way there. And... Andrew? Yeah, then we are sure to be in a treat when it comes to skill level. But 
Turks war something we very rarely see on on water whoops restart we didn't see oh. that before why is fire restarting I don't know as well deers get it. no deers maybe maybe no deers he has deers yeah but very yes. Yeah, yeah, but very, very far away. yeah, very bad too. But not sure it was the reason. Okay. Really, really weird. Really weird restart. That's surprising so, to me. Both. Where's the second bar? I, I just see one. It was. Oh, he's taking. No, oh, he's, he's in the DC. Okay. Well, I think. Yeah, weird. Weird the restart. I don't know why. Maybe the deer. Mm, maybe a bit nervous. Mm, his lumber camp wasn't that great. Yeah, it wasn't the best, I think, as well. He could have gone, have done better. Hello, Lele. Hello, Lele. Say hi to me, Lele. She's picky. <laughs> no, not really. Uh, if I would have had a really bad dog, no, not really. He would have went a bit more to the south and would have had a re reasonable dog and he couldn't know that it would have been a bad dog, so I don't think that that would have been the reason. Yeah. Just a, a very small question to fill the time. Um. China won me one tournament. Slam picked Rooster against you. Do you think that was a good choice? I don't think so. Even even Slam told me that he was really confused about what map he should pick against me. Okay. And Rooster was one of the map one of the maps that I I I, I did some practice to 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 go and play there one versus one. So I was really red for that. And I think he was playing really good. We we were we were on one on one on one, and he was playing really good. He won the Arabia and almost got two zero against me in the second map. Yeah. So he, I think he should uh, went to a, a land map in my opinion. Even even he said to me that, man, I was so confused and I was a bit scared to take land map. And he's good on water as well. So, and uh, but. He had a bad, bad dark age, and then it was really yeah, it uh, was horrible. Game. Like Nimino standing behind him, throwing a chair away, people laughing, <laughs> and yeah, we we are even talking about this game afterwards. But yeah, we can go into that later when there is a pause, for example. But now we are going into game number four. It's fire against Teto. The score is two one four. Our player from Spain, if Fire wants to keep his chances to go into the finals of this tournament, he needs to draw this out here. And yeah, only then having like a reasonable chance um, to, to still advance. So now, Turks War. We did see Fire taking a restart before for unknown reasons. And. What do you think about his map this time? I think his map is a bit better than Tattoo. Although both players have bad uh, forage because it's near the water. But I think uh, Tattoo's map is just like it's too bad for fishing. It's, it's, uh, the good fishing is far away from his DC. And if, if he loses water. It's over the game. It's like it seems like rooster when you when you lose water you can't do nothing. As you can see his main stone is like five tiles from each side of the water. It's really uh, crazy. Okay, yeah. Um then yeah, Tato needs to have this I'm pretty sure that is Rie yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed in this very uh, this is very moment Tato is uh, <laughs> taking the lead. So yeah. Let's jump back. Now we're out of reese and can finally get into the mood of um, the finals. And we can continue the story. So, um, 
he was playing his Dark Age and like people were screaming be behind him, people were jumping. I, I thought it was pretty bad uh, playing conditions uh, for the 1v1 tournament. And he got so distracted that he actually paused when, and asked them kindly, like, guys, that's kind of an important tournament and it's a bit annoying and if they could please keep it down a bit. And afterwards, he asked me like, oh man, um, I feel so out of line there for like talking to them that way. And I said like, dude, I would have thrown them off the stage if they would have done that. Because it was so, <laughs> it was so brutal for them. It was no chance. He didn't even take his second boar against you. He up with one boar. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. <laughs> yeah. And then like at pop 20, he took it and, the, and when Feudal Age was like, 260 food on the ball left or something yeah he had really really bad start and I, I agree with him like for example i was playing the in the china computers and they were in, right beside me and smoking and oh all god the smoking going to my face and i don't like that oh god how and much also... they smoke yeah <laughs> The, oh, they smoke a lot. The, the Chinese guy I played in the first Arabia game in Dark Age he finished three cigarettes. <laughs> it was so weird. I, I paused. Really I paused like six times or something in Dark Age as well because I was so annoyed by all the people around me. But that that was just so much. I, I was so so confused. Yeah, oh, it's man. really impressive how how much they can smoke. <laughs> and. For the for the team games for the the final of Clan Master it was really fine because we had just the players in the yeah. uh, playing in the computer. At, uh, but for the one versus one it was really noisy and people behind watching you play. It, it was not that much professional. Yeah. In